Mr. Buckley, I hope you don't ever have to have bypass surgery. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Let's say you have a surgeon that you've gone to and he diagnoses severe coronary disease and you know that every so often he smokes marijuana or regularly or uses cocaine. Would you let him open your chest? Now give me an answer to that. Don't duck it. You know you're a master yeah, yeah, of ducking yeah, questions. Yeah, well, I, I would tend to go to a doctor that I trusted. Yeah, no, no, I, I didn't, didn't ask you that. that. I said, would you go to him if you knew that he smokes marijuana and uses cocaine? Now that is not an unanswerable question. That, uh, well, I, 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 would, I would say, Buckley. I would say it would depend on his other skills. <laughs> <laughs> I said you were a master of ducking <laughs> questions. Now come no, on. Not at all. I mean, give it a straight for answer. For all I know, Einstein smoked marijuana. Oh, BS. It doesn't come mean on. that you're, you're, you're ducking it. Give me a straight I'm answer. I'm telling you that I would look, would I would you look or at would you not bucket. let him open your chest? If, if I could see the records of 5,000 people whose chest he had opened and who were winning golf tournaments, I'd say yes. <laughs> well, you're not going to see that now. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Uh, he's not going to show you those records. I'll insist on it. <laughs> ah, so you wouldn't let him do it, would you? No, I'll insist what on it. What about the pilot that flew you over here from uh, Europe, and you knew he had smoked crack the night before, or used it, and smoked marijuana? Would you have gotten into that plane? Well, I, I Come on, Mr. You, Buckley. Well, you're asking me, would I do something stupid? And then, ah, you uh, answered. What, thank you. You've answered the no, question. Just, thank you. You came in. I don't know what you proved. You answered the question. I don't know what you proved, but uh, congratulations. Well, I proved that. I proved you have to judge. All right. Mr. Buckman, I hope there isn't a book on this, but if you had, if you <laughs> wanted to influence choices and you wanted to encourage people to do something, you would advertise that. Is that correct? Would you advertise and allow people to advertise? Hope they did advertise drug use? Would I would I allow them to advertise drug use? Mm -hmm. Legalize and, and you know have you know, the children's garden of grass oh, no. or Acapulco gold no, no. or oh oh uh, uh, Miss Harrington, you've missed an awful lot of what we're trying to say. <laughs> we, we, think, uh, we think there should be a very positive consensus against the use of drugs. And so we, can't even, we can't even advertise alcohol on television. Why should we advertise PCP, for heaven's sakes? So uh, you would the society advertise? ought to mobilize itself against the consumption of drugs, which is very different from putting 800,000 people in jail every year as we try to do. 400,000. 800,000 people were arrested last year. But 400,000 people are in jail as we speak tonight. Well, actually, we think it's 690,000. Bill, uh, uh, <laughs> Mr. Falwell, hear about those statistics again. Mr. Falwell. Bill, you're under oath. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do, do you really believe the position you're taking? Are you trying to help us win this thing by being on that side? <laughs> My, my, my feeling is that uh, there is um, a natural evolution in human intelligence uh, and that uh, uh, it is a sovereign responsibility of rational people to take empirical data uh, into um, their general reckoning. Uh, I was against the position I am now taking until I became convinced by the data that it was a futile position, that many human beings are dead uh, as a result of something that has proved absolutely nothing at all, quite the contrary, which is why I'm a joyful convert. So you really are a Okay.